So we are taking a walk with the dogs down to the little pond that we have um, where I live, which is lovely. The dogs like to go for a swim. Well, Bronte doesn't, um, but Penny and Zazie love it. Um, and sometimes we take a little picnic down on a summer's evening. Um, so I thought I'd take you guys with me. You having fun? Oh god! <laughs> We've already lost Azu. He smelt something up in the woods, so he's gone. He'll come back when he's ready. Penny, are you going to go swimming? Oh, here's Azu. Look, it's very clear. No, oh, it won't be anymore. <laughs> That's your tail. Good girl. That's good swimming. It's so clear. I'll have to come along with my waterproof case and see what sort of things we can find in the water. Penny! It's that snow. We're making our way back up the hill. Come on, Sassy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's about time I started training this bird. Yeah, she's had four months off in the moult. Got a lovely new new coat on her, and uh, we'll get her back on the um, get her back on the creance, the training line. Get her coming to the, um, to the glove for a little bit of food. Oh, and the we'll cowman's um, being noisy. We'll start getting her fit and getting her flying again. Oh, you can see how hungry she is, but you should be able to feel a little bit of bone in there, which is the keel bone. But it's full of full of muscle and fat, so she's not um, anywhere near ready to go for it. Okay, this is Arctic Jersaker, female. Just about to weigh her, just to see where we are with the weight, because um, she's not been flown free for about four months. Um, she's had a nice rest of molt. You can see she's got a lovely brand new coat, all those new feathers. Um, so we're going to get this hood. Obviously, we've got to hood her first to make her nice and calm, and hopefully. This has been hurried before, she should, should hood nice and calmly. So it's a case of sleeping on nice and gently, 
You can actually do it with one finger. Now, put it in nice and tight. Lovely hooded. You don't want a bird baiting around or thrashing around and trying to fight the hood. You actually want the bird just to do exactly what she's just done there and accept the hood nicely. It takes a long time, it takes a lot of practice. You've got to know what you're doing to do that because if you mess it up, you mess it up forever. And then what we can do is just. Um, <laughs> Dogs are fighting. Pop her on the scales, just try and get a weight. So again, she can't see what she's doing because she's hooded, don't forget. So it's all down to me and, and the trust we've got. So I'll put her on there backwards, let her feel, feel the back of it, and then help her with the feet, and she'll be standing up. A little bit sticky footed. Backwards onto the onto the scale. And we'll be looking for build the weight and she is approximately an old money because I'm an old geezer two pound twelve ounces so she should fly around two pound ten so we got two pound maybe two pound nine and a half to start with so we've got a little bit to go but we'll do that gradually over the next few weeks and because she is just fat at the moment eventually she'll be weighing two pound twelve muscled so the fat will go replaced by muscle and the only way you can do that is by flying and getting her fit. And she's quite hungry because she's chewing and biting around at the glove. I would just like to add in this voice note to say I am aware of my horrific ankle bashes in this clip. And there might be some footage of it in the next clips. It's just a day of doing jobs. We don't judge. <laughs> Emma's excited. Are you excited? It's time for round two. New wing. I haven't loosened the hood yet. I'm going to send it away first, then we'll do it in this area. And then loosen the hood. Then let her, yeah, let her go after when I've got away. I'll loosen the hood now. Uh, not, not till I've got away, maybe. Because that could happen, you see. The camera didn't see the, the crash. <laughs> and also, the reason it crashed and broke is because he flew it into my leg. And he's more worried about the rope than my leg. So these next few clips are from when I travelled to Wales to do some volunteer work um, for a lovely charity which helps with vultures and condors. Um, the first night I stayed in this nice little cabin in the woods just so that I didn't have such a long commute to get there early for my first day. Um, but it was all very private so I didn't really get much footage that I could put in this video. Um, of me working with the amazing birds, but like I said, there was condors, vultures, eagles. Um, we smashed down an old aviary and rebuilt a new one. Um, I did lots of hands-on work with the birds, so it was really amazing. And I thought I'd include these pretty clips in the video. <laughs> Oh, 
call it. I think it's the same place still. Yeah. Where is he? Oh my god. Thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry it was a little bit higgledy piggledy. Hopefully the next one will be a little bit more structured and in chronological order. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!